Let's take a look at the using length, area and volume in calculations questions. You can use a calculator for all of these questions, which is good news. Question number one, we want to work out the length of fencing he needs. So he needs fencing for the eight meters here, for the 11 meters here and for the eight meters here, but he doesn't need fencing for the gate, which is 0 0.8 meters wide. So the total fencing needed is gonna be eight plus eight plus 11 minus the 0 0.8 and that comes to a total of 26.2 meters. Question number two, first of all, I'm gonna work out the area of the floor. Now the floor is three times 2.5, which is 7.5 square meters. And the area of a tile is 0 0.5 times by 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25 square meters. So we need to work out how many 0 0.25 go into 7.5. So the calculation is 7.5 divided by 0 0.25, and that comes to 30 tiles. Question number three, the first thing we need to do is work out the area of the field. Um, as this is a compound shape, we're gonna break it into smaller shapes, that are, well, regular, uh, regular shapes. So two rectangles, we'll call this shape A and shape B. Shape A is a rectangle with dimensions of 60 and 50, so the area is 60 times 50, which is 3,000 square meters, and B is 35 times whatever this length is. Well, if it's 60 from here to here, and 80 from here to here, then this length here is gonna be 80 minus 60, which is 20, so the area is 20 times 35, which is 700. So the area of the field is 3,700 square meters, and we know John can do 50 square meters um, in a minute. So how many 50s go into 3,700? So what is 3,700 divided by 50? 74. So it's going to take him 74 minutes. Question number four. The first thing we need to do is work out the um, area of the lawn, which is 7.2 times 4.5, which is 32.4 square meters. But she's covering the lawn twice, so she's going to be covering double this area. 32.4 times by two is 64.8 square meters. And one kilo covers 20 square meters. So how many 20 square meters are there in 64.8? So we're gonna divide that by 20. And we're gonna work out therefore that that requires 3.24 kilos of lawn feed. But the lawn feed is sold in two and a half kilo boxes, so one box isn't gonna be enough. So she's going to need two boxes. Um, so she'll have five kilos, so she'll have more than enough. So therefore it's gonna be two times six pounds 99, and two six 99s comes to 13 pounds and 98p. For question number five, the first thing we're gonna do is work out the volume of water in one ice cube. So it's two times two times three, so that's 12 cubic centimeters. Now, if a tray holds 12 ice cubes, a tray will have 144 cubic centimeters, 12 cubic centimeters times 12. So how many ice cube trays will you need for 1500 cubic centimeters? Well, 1500 divided by 144. So you'll need 10.4 trays, but obviously you can't have 0.4 of a tray so we're going to, um, we are therefore going to need 11 trays because we're going to need to round this up. If we round it down to 10, then, um, then we, we haven't used uh, all of the water needed. We, wouldn't, we won't have 1500 cubic centimeters worth. 11 trays is the closest number that will um, give us at least 1500. Question number six, the first thing we need to do is work out the volume of the paddling pool, which is two times 1.5 times 0 0.5. So the volume is 1.5 cubic meters when it's full. Now we've been told it's going to be to 50% of its depth. So it's going to have 50% capacity. So 1.5 or 50% is half. So therefore we're going to be dividing that by two. So therefore it's going to be filled to 0 0.75 cubic meters. Now the hose fills it at 0 0.05 cubic meters per minute. 
So how long will it take to fill it to this capacity? Well, we want to work out how many 0.5s go into 0.75. So our calculation is 0.75 divided by 0.05. And that comes to a total of 15. So the answer is therefore 15 minutes.